name is Christina Starzl Mendoza and I work with the mayor's office in the community development and policy team. And um, I had the privilege of working with Naresh and uh, one of the focuses that we wanted to look at is how the police could build a better connection with the Hispanic immigrant community. One of my uh, big partners has been Key Broadcasting and they have some Spanish-speaking radio stations that have a really broad outreach. So I had the opportunity to invite Nourish and we did a live radio interview where we actually got calls and people asking questions to know how our police system works here. And I think one of the biggest things that we take for granted is that, you know, we have a Hispanic community that is generally first-generation immigrants. Um, so barriers such as language, um, fear because of immigration status, also having negative experiences in their home country sometimes affect how immigrants, especially our Hispanic immigrants, uh, work directly with the police. My name is Naresh Prasad. I work for the Tulsa Police Department. Um, I work in the crime scene unit. And I was privileged to work with Christina. It was, it was really neat. We, had, um, we came out to the radio station and we did a live broadcast and um, was able to answer some questions um, for, for on, the, on the morning show where um, people had the, the concerns that, that had been, you had mentioned that we, there were concerns and, and sure enough, those were the questions that came. You know, we, we didn't screen anything. It, they, they just came in and it was concerns about why police do what they do, um, you know, what are, what's our policy on um, policing with the in, in immigration status. Um, and uh, our goal was to really kind of dispel the feet, well, not dispel, but put away some of the fears um, of what our approach is as, as police officers, as city police officers. What we ended up doing, though, we um, ended up making another connection to another officer that uh, that works in the fraud unit, and we ended up solving some, um, actually ended up working on some cases and uh, putting an end to some of that some of that uh, fraud that was going on specifically targeting the Latino community. Yeah, like you said, we had that great connection to be able to work with the police and actually help families know that there is a way that they can call an officer directly to report crimes that is Spanish speaking. And um, we actually got a chance to, to provide that information to the Hispanic community. and. Um, as a result of it, you know, they were able to follow some leads and I think to me that speaks to the importance of developing those personal relationships and, um, and why, why it's so important, especially within the Hispanic community. I think another thing that was, that was really good is that we do have a really good outreach. Um, you know, Officer Jesse Guardiola participates with the Hispanic community quite a bit and I think it was nice to have somebody else. Um, you know, you know he's Hispanic and I'm not, and I I think that's a good thing so that so the community can see that you don't have to, you don't necessarily have to be a Hispanic police officer yeah. to to want to help and want to be to want to be a part of the you know want to work with the community when when when, when people that I'm not expecting to reach out reach out and work with me um, I'm always pleasantly surprised and 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 that I think that's a good spot to build some bridges good place to start. I agree. I always have told folks that you know of course there is the language barrier but then there's also the cultural barrier and it doesn't matter what language you speak if you have a smile everybody understands that so you know if whether you may speak Spanish or may not speak Spanish people recognize what energy you bring and so I think that's what also helps yes. people saw yes. your energy and and your goodwill and no one made fun of me <laughs> so, so I think I think it was it was a really uh, excellent opportunity, and like you said, we have already some great people like Jesse Guardiola, who have been great leaders in doing that outreach. But again, this is something that not just one person can no, do; we, it needs to be a whole yeah, community definitely. effort. Definitely, and there's there there are so many of us that are willing and want to work with the community, and uh, by just opening it up a little bit, um, I think having the Hispanic community know that that we're out there will. Um, will allow for them to, to, to reach out as well and, and utilize our services more and trust and utilize our services more. You know, it, was, it, it felt good because I've always wanted to reach out 
and that's what this program, and we've discussed that, that's what this program afforded me the opportunity to do. I've always said, one day I want to do this, one day I want to do this, and then sure enough, the opportunity came, and like we were discussing earlier, you know, there's, there's a greater plan, and, and timing was perfect. Uh, I'd say, if you're the kind of person that says you want to be part of the community, you want to be a forward thinker, you want to participate, as I said yesterday, um, in the city's vision, and you want to be one of the people that actually does your part in taking positive steps to achieve that vision, then, then this program is something that you'd want to be a part of. I would say especially Tulsa is at a critical point where we need to be making these, it, I think it takes a, more time, but we need to be making these one-on-one -on -one genuine connections that uh, facilitate us to be moving forward together. We have chemistry! Yes, I'm telling you! <laughs>